Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So like I said in the previous video, you can find the code to what we are doing here on my website. The link is in the description, freephptutorials.com slash downloads. Uh, this is where all the downloads, uh, the source code files are for every project that I do here. So check it out. Uh, you might as well click an ad while you are there to help the website grow. That is if you like uh, what I do here. All right, let's continue here. We have data that is well organized now and all we need to do now is if we want the information that goes with, uh, with this section, we just have to find it in the appropriate array. So. Now let's refresh a little bit here. Here we grab the old records at this point. So we're in the admin controller and um, this is the part we're editing in the previous video. Still haven't deleted these parts that I've muted. But there's this part right here, if not empty metadata. This is the part where we need to save data. So at this point, we are looping through the metadata information and then we are creating all, we're grabbing all the information we need to make a record, including this part here. And then finally we save. Now in saving, we check for the old guys, the old IDs, and then if they are there, we update them. And then if they're not there, we just add new records. So this is all good. But what I'm really interested in is the UID here and the um, uh, what is this the index of this particular um, item so to grab that index if you look closely at the arrays we have when we are looping we are looping through this one this one right here that's the main one so once we look through here this key at this point here is our index at that time so that key is what we want. So it's key two. So we're going to use that key two to find data in another array that's down here. And since it's zero, it's going to go here. And this data is an array as well. So what I'm going to do here is once we reach down here, at this point, we've saved information from the course. But here we're going to say save to lectures table. Now we won't delete anything or update anything for now because we're going to add just first time records here. All right. So we're adding first time records. So um, we would check if this array is not empty down here. So we'll start with this one and then we'll go to the descriptions as well. So let's check if this is not empty one record with that key. So this is this one here for lectures. This is the array name. So I'm going to grab this guy and say copy. So at this point, I'm going to say if not empty, lecture data, but I want a very specific key which is key two right here. So I'm going to grab that and try it here. So if this guy is not empty, then let's loop through it. So I'm going to grab this and say for each. So I'm saying for each that now too many keys here. Now we don't really need this key right there. So I'm just going to say, I'll call this one lec um, when we loop through here, what are we getting? We're getting a key and a value. So these are just lecture names. So I'll just say lecture name like that. Okay. So here we have an array for data. So let's empty it just in case we used it at the top here. So say array. Now let's go to our table and see what columns we actually need. 
So in the Udemy table, there's courses lecture. What we want is a title. So actually this one is title. Let's put that there. So we already have that lecture title. So I'm just going to say title is equal to that lecture title we got. But that's pretty much all the information in that array uh, here. If you check this out, there's just one name there, that's it. And then the next lecture name and so on. And then we can grab a description from a sister array here because they have the same key. Um, I guess. So maybe we do need that key over there. Oh boy, looks like we do, after all. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what I'll do is I'll grab, I'll put another key here. Too many keys. Uh, I should have named them better because just saying key one, key two, key three sometimes can get a little bit of a, you may not know what you are doing in the end. So what I want to do here is get the description. So I'll say array description there for the description column. Now I want to get this from the other array, not lecture data here, but there's this other array here, lecture data descriptions. So I'll grab that and bring it here like so. But I want to check if this exists in it as well. And also with this key three there, very specific. Okay. Now, if this does not exist, I'll do question mark like that and just put an empty string like so. Double question mark, empty string. So in case it doesn't exist, it will just put an empty string. That's great. And then finally, we need a UID. So we have title, description, and a UID. So the UID happily is right there. So we need to save it because I've emptied this again when I get to this point. So which means we won't have that in there. So what I'll do instead is I'll, before we empty it, I'll try and grab it. So uh, description, I want this UID. Mm. Okay, okay, so ba -ba 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 -ba. okay, so that, that's fine. So add it here. Uh, I'll say my UID is equal to, let's put that UID there, then empty the array, and then add it back to the array. So very strange here what we are doing, but it's okay. All right, cool. So before we delete this, we grab the UID and then empty it so that we can start afresh and then add back that UID and then add a title and a description. This is all we need for this section here. All right, then now we can actually save. So models and we want a model for this course is meta but there is no lecture courses lectures no there is none okay so let's grab this course meta and create one model so right click new paste save so instead of course meta this one is course lecture save so what's the table name courses lectures plural on both very important and Meta is changed to lecture. Great. And then 
the columns now there's UID title description and file so description let's change this to maybe we may need disabled at some point but eh, maybe oh yeah we do need disable why didn't I add that here so let's go to the structure of courses lecture let's add disabled it's required tiny int length is one default as zero let's save that this one will need an index let's save. okay great so back to the browse button so um, let's put file here uid is fine let's put title i think that covers it title uid file we don't need value so that's one two three four five columns minus the id one two three four five so we have them all all right so here we're not i can add validation but not yet so let me go back to where is this uh, admin we will add some validation there are we even using the validation here at all nope we are not hmm interesting good okay okay also let me remove this show post otherwise i won't be able to save all right so at this point we just need to do this let me grab this paste it there all right and then let's create our new we'll say course courses lecture is equal to new actually it's course lecture like that okay so course lecture let me grab this put it here uh -huh. now the problem is once we start looping here we can't have this here because then we're going to lose that data so let's move this outside the for each loop all right like so very good okay so hopefully it will save our information there as well with the correct uids let's try this ah so syntax error admin 389 syntax errors are the easiest to fix because they're just errors in typing so for each so it's complaining all oh, right here i should have put an arrow there all right very nice there we go so on this section i want to add a few lectures lecture one like one description lecture two lecture two description then finally lecture three lecture three description let's try and save save so we have an error now saying course lecture not found now oh. wait wow it's looking for a controller that's not good hmm course lecture let's see here ah right the namespace of course where did i declare the others ah right so i had to use model sorry about that so put model there just to make sure let's try this again oops 
looks like we ended up deleting stuff because we didn't save all the way. All right, but that's fine. Uh, what I can do is un. Let's go to courses and meta. Let's remove all this disabled stuff. We can just run a query to put everything back to zeros. So it did add lecture three. Look at that. Very cool. It did save lecture three. So if I refresh now, I should get it. Oh no. Oh no. Where is this? Lecture three. Why isn't it showing? Let me delete it for now. Okay, so let's refresh. We'll figure out why that didn't work. So let's try lecture one. Lecture one description. Like two. Like two description. Oh, there it is. And like three. Like three description. All right. Wait, are we saving to the right place? Okay. Now let's save. Save. Of course, save successfully. Okay, let's see what we've done. Okay, that looks about right, but let's go to courses lecture and look at that. We have the information we need, the descriptions. Very cool. Everything was matched properly. And this you can see here, the two UIDs are the same, which means these two belong to the same lecture, the same uh, curriculum. And this one belongs to another one because it's different. Okay, so things are being saved. That is good. But let's come back and learn to read from the same place because now we don't have that.